Warning, if you're an avid fan of Digital Fear and are sick and tired of people copying his ideas or downright stealing the entire format and style of his videos, then stop watching now, or you may suffer extreme kidney failure from the sheer magnitude of this mimicking of his Halo Machinima tutorial videos. Hello everyone and welcome to this educational tutorial on how to make Halo Machinima. I'm your host BR Phyllis and today I'm going to lead you through a step-by-step -step process on creating your cinematic experience. So to start this off, let's go over what we need to make a Halo 3 machinima. The first is obviously a well-crafted plot or an entertaining script to portray the story in which you wish to deliver to your audience. For this, I often start off by typing my scripts in order to save the hassle of typing them up later on. However, if you do not have a computer at your disposal, then I would suggest simply writing your screenplay on some notebook paper. And obviously, if you wish to make your machinima, you're going to need all of the following. Puppeteers to move the characters. A forged map to represent your movie set. A custom game type which suits the movie style you are going for. And finally, any visual filters that you want on the map which I would suggest using as little as possible. A few things you should know about making your forge sets is to make sure that all weapons, grenades, and equipment are removed from the map in order to maintain the audience's full and undivided attention. I am evil! Time to die! Nom 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 it, ugh. nom nom. Ugh. Wait, dude, what is it? Sorry, I just, I just can't do this. Not with that thing just there peering into my soul. The next thing that you should be aware of is to make sure that you have the appropriate settings for your game type. For example, I wouldn't suggest setting your gravity level as the default, seeing as how your character jumps much higher than a normal human in reality. I would also suggest setting your player speed to one or two notches higher to increase the running speed. Most humans run at a faster pace than the default speed on the game, however when walking I would suggest moving very slowly. Next is the player movement itself. This is something that people pay little attention to, but when executed perfectly, it looks much more professional than this. Now that you have your film saved, then it's time to capture the footage. I use a pinnacle capture card that has a USB hooked up to my computer while my Xbox has an S video and AV cable running from the Xbox into the capture card to be sent to my laptop. If you cannot afford a capture card then Bungie has a limited alternative. If you go to Bungie.net then you can render your clips using a system they have called Bungie Pro. All Xbox Live Halo 3 players have a Bungie Pro account for their first year of playing. If you do not know whether or not you have a Bungie Pro account, then look at your file share. If you have more than 6 slots, then you have a Bungie Pro account. To render your film, go to Bungie.net and sign in with your email linked to your Xbox Live account. Your clips must be uploaded to your file share. So simply click on your file share and select the clip you want. You can then render it in either standard detail or HD quality. You have 5 render minutes per month, however you can purchase more with your credit card. Next thing while capturing your footage is to get the best camera angles you can. Try to avoid long drawn out shots of you blindly flying your camera throughout the map. Say so get many short shots from multiple camera positions. Now that you have captured your footage, then it is now time to edit your film. I use Pinnacle Studio 12 to edit and capture my machinimas. When editing your machinimas, try and make audio such as birds, waves, wind, or other sound effects playing in the background to add to the effect. People will probably not notice them, but it makes your film much more entertaining than ones with no additional sound effects. A huge issue now to cover is the music. When you have your selected audio track, make sure that it is not copyrighted, or if it is, then purchase a music license. Music licenses can cost potentially hundreds to thousands of dollars, so try and use music from YouTube's music list or use music from the Halo 3 soundtrack. Microsoft allows any and all music from the Halo soundtrack to be used in your machinimas. 
However, do not use the music from other games in a machinima for Halo. Microsoft does not prohibit the use of, say, Dead Space music in your Halo machinima. Once you are done editing your machinima, then you can now render your film and upload it to YouTube. I hope that this tutorial has benefited you aspiring filmmakers out there. If you wish to sign up for your work to win prizes in my latest video contest, then be sure to check out my contest video. The link is in the description below. See ya guys.